Good morning. It's the crack of dawn and I'm on my way to the pole site. So we're here at the Spartac Center and my amazing mother is helping out. If you have not yet gone out to vote, I'm really appealing to you right now. If you live in the 45th district, if you live in my neighborhood, please go out to Edward R. Murray. This is really the last hour. This is the final hour on the battlefield. I just want to thank you so much for your support, really. Yeah, yeah, it's just peep, peep the polls. I see you. Okay, I'm like, what? Are you right now? Are you breathing? Let me type. Stop. I just said give yourself some breathing time. Let's do it. So 45.73% of the votes are in. Yes. 14.58. Wow. If someone would have told me a few months ago that I'd be adding an additional project to my plate, like running for district yeah. leader, I wouldn't have thought those, that time existed. But you know, there's really always more time in the day. You just sleep less. <laughs> my name is Adina. I'm running for district leader. Oh. If you could put this on your fridge, if you happen to go out and vote on the 13th, two days after Rosh Hashanah, please check off my name on the ballot. Okay. Thank you so much. You know, people are very, like, I meet people on the street and I'm like, oh, do you want to register to vote? They're like, I don't do politics. And I laugh because I would have said the same exact thing just a couple of months ago. Hi, Stephanie. This is Ross Spark and the Democratic candidate for state senate in your neighborhood. Wanted to reach out and thank you so much for speaking to one of our volunteers. We have a big election coming up next Thursday, September 13th. Thanks. Have a nice day. We're calling um, undecided voters right now. Uh, we have roughly, I think, at least 300 in our system. Uh oh, it's my mom. These need to be sealed too or not? I have to see you soon. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye bye. All right. Put them in the likely. Again, I'm knocking them, knocking them down. There are a number of candidates running against incumbents or running for their party nomination who are organizing both on the ground and digitally. They're running something similar to the playbook we saw from Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in Queens and the Bronx when she uh, unseated longtime Congressman Joe Crowley. And people hoping to capture the same type of energy, run a similar campaign that combines lots of door knocking, lots of flyering, and also the digital presence. What you can gauge by often is, does the campaign seem organized? Do they seem to have a plan? When you're looking at the campaign digitally, do they seem to have a lot of following? Are the things they're putting out on social media getting pickup? Now, that can also be a smokescreen of sorts because they have to combine that with the on-the-ground right. work as yeah. well. Yeah, good. Thank you I'll so you much. Put you up there and I'm going to put it on my Insta story. You know who I am, right? OK, good. <laughs> I am transparent. I have the power on my phone to wave my Insta story in front of another elected official, which I have done, and said, we want to know why you, na, na, na. And that's more powerful than one person. So when you elect me, you're not just electing me, you're electing the 40,000 followers that watch what I do and have the ability to get involved if they feel inspired to do that. I'm asking him to answer my question. He's ignoring me. Ari, you have nothing to say. Ari, you contested 3,700 signatures and you think I have less than 500. Look at this. Oh my God. I mean, I think the baby boom has messed it up enough. Maybe the millennials will do Millennials will fix it. What, what do you, what do you think about the fact that I ate that egg sandwich this morning at 7-Eleven with the ham on it? If you want it, no good for the revolution, no good to politics. You have yeah. to be in tip-top shape to win. Yeah. Uh, no, I never, I never thought I'd run for office. I, I didn't imagine it. It wasn't my aspiration at all. It was an ambition. Uh, then you know, Trump became president, and Marty Golden had no opponent in 2016, right. and I felt yeah. that you know, we could do better, and uh, I felt motivated to run. Let's not just laugh at jokes. Let's not just do humor. Let's not just watch makeup videos 
And let's see how we can use our unified voices to, to make sure we leave over a legacy for the next generation that's better than the one we have right now. We're seeing more people questioning the traditional power sources. We're seeing more people question why an incumbent that they have never really heard of continues to be reelected year after year. And people questioning, why not throw my hat in the ring and see if maybe you know I can bring some of this energy to elected office. But incumbency is still incredibly powerful. You should not typically bet against an incumbent. We've seen incumbents win while under indictment, amid scandal but there's undeniably more activism, more energy than we've seen in past election cycles. So 45.73% of the votes are in. 40.15% um, of the votes are for Ross. And 59.25% of the votes are for Andrew Gennaris. <gasps> We still got time. We still got time. It's only 40%. Not even half of the votes are in. It's all good. Yeah, go. Um, tonight is the night of my um, cousin's uh, bar mitzvah. Family comes first, so while I'd love to be at the polls waiting to see the results, I'm happy to be here and celebrate with family and be amongst my community. Where are we going next? We're staying here at the party for a little longer and then we're going home. No. No, I'm sorry that you're not happy. That's a lot. He didn't even do anything. He doesn't need to. I don't get it. What happened? Simcha fell one. Hey, you didn't do it. Wow. I have a question. You know how there's a list that the Sephardic community gives out people to vote for yeah. in the Sephardic community? Yeah. Did you get on that list? She was on the list. I think no, so. wasn't. Well, in like more in like our like yeshivish world, I was not on the list. Why? Because people don't like social you know, media people. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like writing in Haram. Yeah. <laughs> This uh, 54% um, still the same numbers. Yeah. Hey, Ross is actually closer to Andrew than he was before. Okay. So this is okay. <laughs> Yeah? 70% of the results are in so far. For this? That's not good. Oh wow. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. We tried. We tried. Tried is not the word. That's okay. You didn't try, you know. You did you did the Herculean impossible. Wow, she won by a lot. She's not winning done. It's not done yet. No, it's done. It's, it's done. It could... No, it's not. Where it's not. It's this? look, it's thirty to sixty nine. I have a group. I have a WhatsApp. No, it's it's over. It's over. It's okay, we tried. We tried. There's it's nothing you so can do. Much it's okay. It's okay. You know, um, it's tough. It, it's tough. I know this is, this is not the night we wanted. Um, it's not the night I wanted. We put in all these hours and, and to go into something like this and not to have it go our way is hard. But I just wanted to remember that we always discuss win or lose. It just wasn't about a campaign. It wasn't about a victory. I mean, we stood up to an establishment that never wanted us to win. And while the establishment won this round. That doesn't mean we all disappear. It doesn't mean we don't stop working. It doesn't mean we don't stop fighting. So guys, here I am being the deliverer of the news. Um, the majority of the vote has gone to Margarita by, a, by actually by a quite a significant number. And that's that. Um, Chaim, come.
I want to thank Chaim over here for being the most supportive and amazing, amazing That's what husband. I'm here for. And you're always a winner to me. Uh -huh. All of you got out there and fought, and, and you just can't give up the fight. You got to keep fighting and fighting for what you want. <laughs>